but you can see where it itself has probably caused that chip in the paint. It's an electric suction. Oh. It just sucks itself down. Oh. So I have other tools that could have made it a little faster. Have you worked on a Lotus before? Hi, and thanks for slipping some time with me today. In this episode, we are going to take this window off, or I'm going to get somebody to do that. And before you stop the video, this is very difficult to take off, especially I want to preserve this window, and we're going to use some pretty cool equipment. Uh, well, not we, a company that I'm actually going to that's going to do it. Uh, the only place in my local area that will even tackle this to try and preserve this window. This, by the way, is from a 1989 Lotus Esprit Turbo. And that's why I need to preserve this because you can't buy this window anymore. And I need to paint the whole car, including this. So I need to remove this and then put it back. Um, I think this is actually from the factory maybe put in. I don't know. I think the car was painted once, so probably not, I guess. But I don't know back then if they replaced the window or what. But from my understanding, you can't get this anymore. And it would be pretty hard to get made just because of the way it's got to be rounded and stuff. And you'd have to have some type of mold, I think, for it. So anyway, we are going to get to it. I'm going to show you and bring you in here exactly why this is difficult to remove compared to like a standard windshield or, or you know, quarter window or whatever. Um, and it's because of what's going on in here. And let me bring you in and show you that. I was going to remove this window myself using one of these pretty standard stuff you basically hook it on get the wire under there and kind of plow through it uh, so this particular one is pretty easy from this point on you can gotta get under here in between there um, you got room kind of show you how much room I got here you got a little room to get your hand in there maybe to work at it still kind of difficult you could snap something pretty fast but as you come down here this is the issue right here you see how that folds in and there isn't a lot of gap in here so if i was to take this wire basically and saw kind of saw through it i'm going to put pressure on here and i'm going to break the window for sure for how much gap is in there basically to cut through and i'm going to break this i'm going to snap it i could grind this fiberglass down which i don't want to do obviously so this is very very difficult to do I went through a few glass places to try and get this out and uh, no one would touch it and there's only one company that would in town that would actually uh, do it and they say no problem they know have no trouble with me fitting it in fact they were going to video it for me without even knowing I did YouTube stuff so that's kind of cool let's get it loaded on the truck and get it to the shop that's going to do this work we're going to have a chat with them see how they're going to approach it and uh, it's interesting because they want me to drop it off at the end of the day today and then they want to think about how they're going to approach it to get ready for tomorrow morning and have it ready for me to show up and start videoing it. And don't be fooled that this is just any ordinary taking out a window. You're going to see why in a moment. That's why you want to tune to this. It isn't just typically taking out a normal window. Uh, there's some nuances to this, especially if I want to preserve this and you're going to want to see this. So stay tuned and continue on watching. Touching? Yeah, it's I actually can. chipping the paint. Yep. I so can. when you start opening this up and down, if it does flex, I don't think it will. Oh, I see. But you can see where it itself has probably caused that chip in the paint. Mm-hmm. And then this side is. That side's wow. But it's touching here, 
loose not a loose precise fit at all. Well, no, they never are when they make it out of fiberglass. No. Anything that's made out of fiberglass is never 100%. Okay. This is kind of sort of your time it's to, good to know. Them notch it a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. Just give yourself will. a little bit of. Thank you for that. That's good. Uh, good to know. Yeah. Okay. You're well, doing fiberglass work already. We'll fix this. Oh, up. and if you see in the car, I'm doing fiberglass work. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I never even noticed that. Like. Jeez. Oh yeah. You're a quarter inch out from here to here. Lots of lotuses, especially back in the day. That. Jeez. Oh, so yeah, you're a quarter inch out. This is probably where your issue is. Is right here. I actually even notice it here. If you look here, you can see how much oh. is revealed. Yeah. Not height-wise, but you can see. Here's the glass. Here's your fiberglass. There's less of a gap over here. Yeah. So that's not your issue. It's actually right here. This one actually needs to just kind of. Okay. Yeah. Because cool. we're we're hanging over on that side. And we're almost even on this side here. So it could actually be just tweaked a little bit. I know you're not nervous. I'm nervous. And that's the tool? It's just basically a suction is, cup. Is this like the one I've seen where you, you can do a front windshield from kind of the inside and yeah. it just closes the cable up? Is that? It is kind of, well, there's multiple different ones, yeah. It's an electric suction. Oh. It just sucks itself down. And keeps, and keeps on sucking. Yeah. We'll try a cord first to hopefully not damage any of the fiberglass. It's a soft cord. Yeah, it is so, yeah. But Thanks. with an inch or more, it's actually, the glue bead is about that wide in there. So hopefully we don't have to go to a wire cable, because the wire cable will probably damage the inside. Damage the... Inside the, um, the fiberglass. Is this window an issue at all? Because it's so tight to it? This? Shouldn't, be. Shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't be, hopefully. It's, hard to it's not touching it. It doesn't take too long to do if it goes right. If it goes right, it won't take long at all. If the amount of glue that's in there causes a problem, it can take it. You just go really slow. So how long have you been doing this stuff? Alright, I got the right guy then. You can see how tight does he want to pull the cord in? Oh wow, it's how tight it is there. The gaps here on this side are quite uh, quite wide compared to this side he was pointing out, which I know it's, it's good old Lotus Precision is showing the gap here that you noticed. Yep. Um, already got this cord kind of put in already. It's really tight in here, obviously loose in there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna show. And this, this is called a what again? It's a Raptor. Raptor. Equalizer. Equalizer. And this is Brendan, right? Yeah. And he's been doing stuff like this for 26 years, working on lots of probably exotic cars. I'm thinking lots. over the years. <laughs> so this is a walk in the park for him. I'm very nervous. He's not. <laughs> so what's the craziest car you've worked on? Probably. Everything from 20s, 1920s, all the way up to Lamborghinis and Ferraris. Which for these parts is pretty exotic because we don't have too many supercars around here. This is an anchor. Okay. It just anchors the other side of the, the cord. Have you always been with Novus in those 26 years too? Yeah. Okay. They treat you right. They pretty much. Well, you're the only guys that will touch this in town. That's, and that's what the other guys are telling me. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> At least they're honest about it. Let's see if she snaps the cord. That happens? Yeah. I guess with it so much, so thick in there, huh? Yeah. If she's got too much uh, pressure on it, it'll snap. Yeah, she's pulling in here. I can see it. Loose here. There we go. She's coming already. Okay, you're making this look easy and... Okay, 
this is going much easier than I expected. So I have other tools that could have made it a little faster, but. Well, this is pretty fast. Oh, she snapped on that last few inches. Yeah. So close. We're old school now that we get through the worst of it. There it is. Oh. -hoo. One window. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That. Ah, I can breathe. When it did the research on this. Whatever they used wasn't. Oh, yeah. It's not bonded. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. So the issue taking this one out is because of the defrost on it, probably, or? No, it doesn't give me much room to work is the issue. Oh, okay. It's uh, a very small window. It's not impossible to get out. Whoever did it last time, they left that one in too. Yeah, they can, yeah, <laughs> it's paint all over it. So. I have to take this piece off, probably. Yeah. I got to take this off any because I have a new one to replace it. Yeah. Have you worked on a Lotus before? No. Lot I worked on cars similar. Like the old Ferraris would have been similar. All the, well, the wedge cars, right? Yeah. The DeLorean's another one. Yeah, I worked on all that. Yeah. Hey, how tight are you on the bottom? Oh, you're tight. Yeah, she, it, they probably just rested it on. Well, they had to, I guess, because of this. You painting it the same color, yellow? I'm painting it a different yellow. Um, it's more modern Lotus Esprit. This was the, kind of the older yellow. And I'm not even sure if it was the Lotus yellow because I don't know the paint code and the match will be awful. So I'm just painting it. It's kind of a deeper, it's not quite a Corvette yellow, but it's kind of a deeper mustard look. That's your needle. Yeah. Drag some wire through so I can pull the cord. Wow, that wasn't held on too much. Well, I'm glad they didn't use epoxy, but yeah, it's not wow. Too so there's the original black. Popping off. Just from the outside, you can see that it's oh. on the frit. Oh, I, yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, yeah, this oh. feels like, like silicone. She's. It like it's, been in. it's. And that's probably why your paint didn't stick there either. That makes sense. That's not clean. No. Just cut there. Yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> it's gonna just pop out now. Ta da! That's it. Ready for paint. Or <laughs> some sanding. Yeah. <laughs> uh. All right, you're the man. Yes, it's done. Finally got this out. I've been stewing about this for months, actually months and months, uh, that this was going to break when we tried to remove it, but we had to remove it. It ended up being a lot easier than I expected, uh, which was great. Uh, fortunately, because of bad prep, Usually bad prep uh, when they put stuff in goes to your disadvantage, but in this case, because they didn't do much adhesion for the window, it was pretty easy to get out, which was good. Um, looking forward to getting it finally prepped and painted. Speaking of painting, 
Yes, it's still a delay. I'm hoping that we soon we can get that going so I can get on this project and show more of it for you guys. That's been the biggest delay, as you guys know. And once we get that uh, going, then I can get going on the chassis because I want to do it all kind of seamless and we can show you lots more stuff coming up. This went so well, I'm going to probably remove the little quarter uh, windows that are in the back. I wasn't sure if I was going to do that or just prep and paint around them, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Now that I've seen how this has been put in, they're probably the same way, so they should be able to remove them pretty simple as well. We'll get all the glass out for paint and prep, which is the proper way of doing it, which is the way you know I like to do it. Um, so we can get that done, and uh, yeah, let's get it paint and prep. So please subscribe if you haven't. Um, please comment on what you've seen, how uh, you've had some experience with maybe removing glass, and I guess uh, anything else you want to feel free to comment on would be wonderful. Ring the bell, get your notifications, all those sorts of things. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until the next time, enjoy every day and always make it right. I guess I can store this appropriately.